Erin Lauder hails from one of the world's most iconic cosmetic dynasties. The granddaughter of the late Estee Lauder, who founded the billion dollar beauty empire in 1946, Erin is now leaving behind the famous surname as the founder and face of her own luxury lifestyle brand. What was the best piece of advice that your grandmother Estee ever gave you? She always used to say, whatever you do, do it well. And I think that's the most important advice I've ever had. And do you ever feel sometimes that you're not doing well enough to give yourself a hard time? Of course, I think that's human nature, but then you just have to have the strength and the passion to keep ahead and move ahead and keep focusing. I've come to New York City to find out who the woman is behind the glamorous image. We're here in your New York offices. Why did you decide to go out on your own and launch the Erin brand? Well, it's always been a dream of mine. I was at Estee Lauder for about 25 years, and beauty is very much my heritage. But my real passion has always been home and accessories. And Estee had this wonderful quote, but basically always following your dream and living your dreams. And this is very much what I've done. Talking of your heritage, Erin, it's quite extraordinary. When were you first aware of being part of this dynasty? Well, it's a great story. When I, you know, grew up, Estee was my grandmother. We never called her grandma. We always called her Estee. And the one thing I do feel sorry about is I never had the experience of working with her. But I did see her as an incredible, powerful, creative force. And when you think about what she created in 1946 as a woman, as a daughter of Hungarian immigrants who barely spoke English, she was passionate, hardworking, dedicated, brilliant. She followed a dream and she accomplished it. And it made me very proud to be who I was and to be so associated with someone so incredible.